In this tutorial, we'll go over S's law. So S's law helps us to find the enthalpy of a given reaction using the other reactions. Okay, so let's get started. So what we get to do whenever we're working with S's law is we look at the overall reaction. So this is the main equation that they want us to, to find the enthalpy. So you'd want to look at the other reactions, reverse them in the way that they are going to be give us that one. Okay. So now I'll start with the first one there. This is my first equation. Okay. Now assuming I reverse it, if I make the products to be the reactants, I'm supposed to change what I have there as well. If I get to multiply the entire equation by 2, I'm even supposed to multiply 2 against the enthalpy of the reaction. And then at the end of it, or whatever we're going to, da to do there is going to affect this. And then we'll just add them in the way that they're going to be then they are going to give us the enthalpy of what the reaction given on top. So now, let's start. So if I try to compare the first reaction, I'm able to notice that basically everything that I have is matching up with the main equation, okay, including oxygen as what? A product. Now, what about if you go to the second reaction? In the second reaction, I can see that this is on the opposite side and then I can also see that this is also on the opposite side so this is this information is enough to reverse the, the reaction okay so let's reverse it so if we reverse it we're going to have NO3 plus NO2 as our reactants and we'll have a single product okay so whenever you reverse this is supposed to change the sign. So since it's positive, it's supposed to become negative now in this case. Okay. So that's what we have now. Okay. What do we do? So I can remove this one since we've reversed it. So we now try to compare what we have. Is it okay if we consider it from this stage that things are going to be okay? So whatever appears on the reactant side, or let me just say on two opposite sides of the two equations, is supposed to cancel out. So in this case, do we have anything that is common on both sides? So if I check these against the opposite side there, I can see that I have something that is common, right? So I can cancel it out and then see what we are going to have. So this is going to go. And then that is also going to go. Which is a good thing because it's not even part of what? It is not part of our overall equation if you check. Is there anything else that can cancel out? So if I check the other side against the opposite side, nothing is common there. Okay. So let's try to combine what we have. It's going to give us the main equation. So I have all three. So this and this are the same. So they are going to give us two. And then on the product side, there's this. And then there's also oxygen there. So now, the question is, if you compare what you have as your final equation, is it matching up with a given equation? Yes, it's matching up. So what you just get to do is add what has, re has remained as your enthalpy for the two reactions. So in this case, we have 10.1 and then negative 48.3. So that is what you're supposed to, get to do. So we'll say 10.1 kilojoules plus negative 48.3 kilojoules. So this is going to give us what? This is going to give us 38, but of course negative, negative 38.2 kilojoules. So this is the enthalpy of the reaction, and this is what we call S's law. For question 4, we are told to calculate the enthalpy. I create the enthalpy for that reaction. So equally, we are going to apply the same principles that we've applied in our first uh, few questions. So what do we get to do now? So I'll start by looking at the first reaction. So let's try to update, to check whatever we have against the main equation. So this is on the same side. The oxygen is at least there as well, and then that is also matching up. So. I don't see any necessity of us reversing that reaction. For now, we can keep it as it is. 
let's go to the second one the second one if I check this I can see it's somewhere there on the other side okay what else if I check this where can we see it I think we have it there if I check the oxygen we have it there as well so what have you noticed it's like this one is everything is like on the opposite side with the main equation there so what can we do the best thing you can do is reverse it for now let's try to reverse it we see what we're going to have so if we reverse it we're going to have three oxygen plus 2k2o as our reactants and then we we'll have that as our product 4k o2 so whenever you do that this is supposed to change the sign so it will be negative 411.6 kilojoules so i can remove it there okay now let's go back to let's go to the last one um if i check this where can you see it in the main equation are they on the same side so if i check it's on the opposite side if i check this it is on the same side and then if i check this it's the on the opposite side so <coughs> this is now where it becomes tricky because we've seen that one guy is, is on the opposite side two of, of two of course are on the opposite side this is on the other side so that is not justification enough because we've looked at different equations so what do we get to do in this in this case so what we've noticed is in one of the reactions we have what we had oxygen there three oxygen molecules in the second one that we've reversed which is already matching up with what we have there so which implies that it is unnecessary for us to have that oxygen there so we want to get to a point where we can cancel it so if we are to cancel it then this is supposed to remain so that we use it to cancel now canceling it is not going to be possible in the way it is now why because what we've noticed is there we have half oxygen okay we have half oxygen but then what happens in terms of adding what we have then in this case if you check there how much of us we have we have four of them and there we just have a single one and then in the other reaction where we can add it we just have two so we would need to have two again in the first reaction so this is this tells us to say that what we can do at this point is multiply the first one by a two double everything by a two so this is what you're going to have we have 2k2 let me use a different carrier so i have 2k2 or so when you multiply the half by two it is just going to be o2 and then the other side you have 2k so i said whatever you do to the reaction is supposed to be done to the enthalpy so the same is going to be done to, to our enthalpy in this case okay so you've done you are done with your first equation there we've, we've done something to it and now <coughs> let's try to use what we have now to say if it's going to if it's going to work out any things things that are necessary that are on opposite sides so if i check this is it anywhere else so it's not there it's not there so we'll not cancel it how about if i try to check the products oxygen so i can see oxygen there you can cancel with the other opposite reaction and then k2o2 can we see it anywhere on the reactants no it's not there and then i'll move to a second reaction i'll check it against what is on the bottom so this is nothing i check what is on the products against the site do we have anything that we can cancel out anything matching up they are not matching so we'll read it as it is and then let's try to write what we have so we'll start first of all on the reactant side what do we have i can see 2 ko 2 plus this are they the same or they are different so they are different so they are different but at least okay so this is matching up with uh, so if i check this now clearly i can see that this is the same as that 
so that will reduce giving us 2KO2 at this stage because the two there has gone and then what we just want to remain with is just this so what do we do now if you add this and this guy they'll give you four so what I've added is this and this and then what are we remaining with so three oxygen molecules okay what else do we have on the products so on the products we're remaining with um, that guy plus where which one is it matching with this one which will give us a three and then what else um, we're now remaining with that guy 2k or 2 so this now matches up with uh, the equation that we, we have as our main equation so this gives us now power to us to add what we have as the enthalpy is to just give us the final enthalpy for our reaction of interests so that is what we're remaining with. So we're remaining with positive 411.6 uh, kilojoules uh, plus 2, negative 132.6. So why is this one positive? Is it supposed to be positive or negative? <coughs> if you check where it's coming from, where it's coming from, we had reversed it, not so we had reversed this reaction and it was positive initially so this is supposed to be a negative so we'll add a negative there and the other one on top we didn't reverse it we just multiplied by 2 so that's what we have so in this case if you grab your calculator negative 411.6 plus 2 multiply against negative 132.6 So what I'm getting as uh, my enthalpy for the reaction is negative 676.8 kilojoules. So that is how you use S's law to determine the enthalpies for different reactions. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you now are able to answer all the different questions that you have on thermochemistry.